Hi guys, Joseph here. Today we're doing another Joseph car video and today we're doing another video and today, just as a disclaimer, this is not my car. This is my granddad's friend's daughter's car today and today we're going to be replacing the front brake pads and the car we're working on is a 2006 Mini Cooper and this is a Park Lane edition but it does it is the same for the R50s. And the R53 models, it's the same for the Mark 1 P1 platform from 2001 to 2006. Mini Cooper, this video will apply to you. So today, we're going to be replacing the front brake pads. And the next film will be how to replace the rear brake pad. But today, it is, it's, over the few days, it's been freezing, guys. It got down to 37 degrees. It's freezing. 37 degrees in the UK. I measure temperatures in Fahrenheit. Today it's not been too cold. Today it got up to 57 degrees it is outside now. So it isn't as cold but freezing. Last February of 2021 it was 26 degrees Fahrenheit. 25 actually. It was absolutely freezing. Loads of ice on the road. It's freezing. But today it's 57 degrees. Almost 60. Not brilliantly warm but not too bad. But now... Let's get over to the car right now. Right guys, this one's actually got a locking key, but, and today, to speed things up, invest in one of these impact guns. Right guys, I'm gonna use this gun. You can do this with common hand tools, but invest in one of these. Simply removes bolts. There's a, so you have to look which way it's going. So right, now I'm on reverse. There you go. It's quick. There you go. Foot third. one was a tight one right guys to get this off we're gonna pry it with a screwdriver you don't want to break this here you go are these a bit aggressive these are there you go he's gonna have to work with that when i get that in now right guys these are these dust covers so you, to get this off these dust boots covers has to come off which it's actually simple there's one at the top one at the bottom and it's a hex to undo it so i want to go and grab myself a hex Right, now guys, I'm gonna go and get a hex and we'll start pulling this pad in. Here you go. Here we go. Here we go. One side. Now we're going to go to the bottom. Where's the, where's the in there. In there. So now. And what? There you go. There we go.
Right, now you've got that undone. Oh, it's tiny, isn't it? Now, now I'm going to push my piston mat really. That's it. Break that caliper off. So you're not fighting against now. You do your old pad. Out it comes. That's it. They are illegal pads. These are illegal. And you rest it there. Here you go. Here's your old pads. Now I'm going to go and get something to clean this up. Right, guys. To finish that, you start filing up. Right guys, now it's time to grease up the slider pins. So you pull the slider pins through. I've greased tight. I've, what you do is make sure your mailing surface is smooth. There's your slider pins. I've got some rears. These must be. Right, there you go. Now I'm gonna go and get the grease and start greasing out my slider pins. Right guys, I've greased up my pad. Now you slot it in. Worked out for you, that's it. Well, I think I'm going to go and put my leg up. Is that Now. Okay. Stop. 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 Huh? Here it goes. I've got this push back now. It goes on. On it goes. Right guys, camera died there, so I've just tightened in the bottom bolt, it's finished with the top torques, it's the H7 actually. That's tight enough. Now on goes the last that come off, anti-rattle clip. 
the first to come, then they get these dust caps, on they go, on they go at the back, on they go, that's it. Now you just repeat this on the other side, there is a brake wear sensor on the other side, which you have to pop out and pop in. The person that did the other side will explain. Dad, how did you get the sensor off? Can you explain to the viewers? Yes, yeah, don't pull the lead of the sensor, pry it out with a small screwdriver or something like that. But if you, if you pull on the lead and put on the sensor, you've got to pull the lead off the end of the sensor. So yeah, so you pry it from the pad. That's it, yeah. Yeah, so right guys, with the sensor, you pry it from the pad. I, I had the easy one, but surprisingly. Normally I thought I was going for the other one, but well, that's it. Now, you got everything sorted. The final, the, the, the last to go on was the first to come off. The wheel. You see, it would be very light wheels, actually. I think they're lighter than one of them. No, these are alloys. I think these are steel wheels. Right. Start them off by hand. Right. I'm not really going to slug this hard. This is so quick. <laughs> right guys. The final goes in. You can do this, you don't really need an impact gun to do this, but as I had it, I thought I'd give make it handy. Simple. So there you go. Now you got all that done. Now I'm gonna get a torque wrench and these wheel bolts, you drop the car to the ground. I'm gonna pause and drop it to the ground, then we'll torque these wheels to spec. Right guys, we're gonna end off this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And for the front near side, there is a brake wear sensor. So to get the sensor out of the caliper, use a long needle nose nose pair of pliers on the sensor, not the wire, and get, grab the sensor and pull it out. That's how you get it out. Don't pull the wire, because you'll rip it, put it out the sensor. So that's when you see, obviously you've probably seen some few people doing brake pads on a mini, where they're pulling the sensor out and you can't quite see how they're doing it. They're actually grabbing the sensor attached to the brake pad on the round the pad, don't grab the wire. And what they do, they, they hold it with a needle nose and they pull outwards. They normally slide out. And then with, when you put the new one on, you just slide it back on. That's how you do it. But I hope you found that helpful. And the next video is going to be how to do the rear brake pads. The side I'm showing you doesn't have the brake wear sensor. So if you're doing the right side, there is a brake wear sensor. So, my granddad was doing that side. I didn't even know where the brake wear sensor was. I didn't even know he had the brake wear sensor side. But, as he had that side, he explained on how to do it. So, I'm just telling you his explanation. So, that's pretty much how he did it. So, on the front left, you have a brake wear sensor. And you have another brake wear sensor on the right hand side rear. I hope you found that helpful. So, now... We're going to end off the video, so please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any content like this. And have a nice day.